hoy, hoy hablen lo que estaban hablando. Digan nada, no digan nada. Hi. <ríe> Hi. Hello, <ríe> hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Welcome. <ríe> okay, we're going to start, guys. Um, just let me share with you. Comparto con ustedes pantalla. Y empezamos. Ya estamos oh, preocupados. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día, chicos? How was your day? Good. So, so. Difficult day. Traffic. Rain. So, tell oh, me. Tired. Oh. Tired. Why? Tired. Because I have more. Trabajamos mucho. Yeah, I know. Mucho trabajan. Sí, pero mañana descansamos. Mañana van a ir a ver los desfiles. Felicidades por ustedes. Ah, no, ya los de nuestra edad ya solo queremos dormir. ¿no? Ah, sí, es que... Ya no puede con la espalda, ya, mi tía. Sí, la rodilla. Discúlpeme, pero no. Yo voy a ir a ver el desfile. Ajá. Sí, ya alguna, sí, 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 sí. alguna motivación tiene. Ajá. Por algo mis de Mis hijos, mis hijos. Bye. ¿Cómo ah. digo que no? Cabal, ¿cómo le va a decir que no? Ya, yeah. no, no, no tomorrow, mañana no. Habrán clases mañana, de hecho. ¿A dónde? No, no acá. Ah, ¿sí? no. Ah. Vaya. Ok. Pensé que le habían dejado clases. No, no, mañana no tenemos clases. Van a tener un día de descanso por una, uno, dos horas. Ok. Ok, so we'll continue, guys. So this is our session number eight, uh, September 14th, right? Let's see. So here we have our class objective. Let me see. Harrison, can you read a specific objective, please? Um, a specific objective. Um, participants will be able, or como se? Able. 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 To ask parents questions about their daily routines 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 and give answer uh, oops uh -huh. about my comedy routine. routines my routine okay continue with the next one um class objective um at the end of the class participants will be able to talk about daily routines. Daily routines. So we'll continue talking about daily activities. And I brought for you some new vocabulary related to routines. I'm gonna start sharing now. Let me see here. Here we have it. Okay, previously we we're talking, well, yesterday actually we we're talking about routines, right? So for today's um, class, we're going to be checking some more activities, uh, similar activities, right? So daily activities. And just uh, let's charge that. Okay. Okay, David. Okay. Esperamos ahí a David. So let's see. Oh, why this is not charging? Ok, si me, me comentan ahí si ya está proyectando. Acá me está cargando. Ok, ya. No quiere cargar. A ver qué han hecho. <ríe> Let's see. Es el día, teacher. El cuerpo it's, lo sabe. It's not uh, Friday, ya. Yeah. Todavía no, no llega ni el Black Friday. <ríe> ok, esperamos ahí. 
mientras carga, entonces pasamos con la siguiente actividad y luego regresamos ahí con el vocabulary. So look at this. Here we have a reading um, of a daily routine. This is a very short sure daily routine. Yesterday you, you tried to create some daily uh, routines, uh, paragraph, right? But in today's lesson, we're gonna first check uh, this reading and then we're gonna be checking the connectors. So can you identify guys the connectors that we use seeing in this reading? Identifiquemos ahí los conectores que, que ven ahí en la pantalla. En el paragraph. And, and okay. Then, and first. First. After. After. Yeah. Any other? And, then. And, okay. Final. So, so, okay. So, es un connector. Then. Then. Then, okay. To finally. Finally. Hay algún otro? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. Could be. Okay. Any other? Que iba a decir de so, el conector de so. Oh, yeah. So is uh, used in order to talk about a result. Pues cuando utilizamos so, queremos mostrar el resultado de algo. So I'm an English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. Entonces soy maestro, soy profesor, profesora, tengo una familia muy grande. Uh, así que tengo una rutina muy, muy ocupada. So that's uh, so. Así es como se, utiliza, se va utilizando so. In order to talk about or result, para hablar de un resultado. Okay, so right now, let's see. Let's identify the... Um, Let's read the, the, the reading. Okay, I'm an English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, take a shower, get dressed and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. In the afternoon, I correct my students' homework and test. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel shows. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. So can you identify some words that you don't know? Is there any word that you don't know? ¿Hay alguna palabrita, chicos, que no conozcamos ahí? Before es un otro conector, ¿verdad? Which one? ¿Cuál? Before. before. Oh, yes, before. No lo subrayamos. It was, hasta lo buscamos. Watch TV before, a, arriba de finally. Um, well, oh, yeah, before. Here, acá está. Excellent. Y by, forward by 7.30. 7.30, yeah, where is it? No, by no, es un conector. No, ese no es un conector. Para, ok, y me marcho del trabajo, me retiro. Para las 7.30. So, it means, sale de casa, right? Tipo 7.30. Yeah. Para las 7.30. Teacher, uh, until, until, now? until, mm -hmm. ok, hasta el mediodía. Okay. Enseño hasta el mediodía. Any other word that you don't know? ¿Alguna otra palabra, chicos? Until, hasta, any other? You. I travel. To watch travel show. Mm. Uh, programas de viajes, travel shows. Oh, few. <laughs> Qué bonito salir. I read in bed for a few minutes. Pocos. Por algunos oh. pocos minutos. For a few minutes. A few minutes. Minutes. Pocos minutos. A few significa poco. Poco, pocos. Poco 
pocos minutos, for a few minutes, before I fall asleep. That was few. Any other? Not right. Okay, let's see. Let's read that again, and then you're going to be reading that. I'm an English teacher, and I have a, a big family, so I have a very busy daily routine. First, first, I get up every day at 6 o'clock, take a shower, get dressed, and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at 8 o'clock, I prepare my lessons, and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. Teacher's room. In the afternoon, I correct my students' homework and tests. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel shows. Finally, I, re I read in bed for a few minutes, a few, a few minutes before I fall asleep. Fall asleep, what is fall asleep? What is to fall asleep? Quedarme dormido. Mm -hmm. Quedarse dormido. Okay, let's see, volunteer. So we're gonna be listening to your reading. Adriana, go ahead, Adriana. So we start with Adriana, that's just on the... She's the first on the list. Hola, teacher. Hello, hello. Vamos Escuché con... mi nombre, pero no. Vamos con el reading. Ahí, ahí, ahí leyendo. A leerlo. Yeah. Okay. Dice read, read and write example. I am a an English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very, very busy, busy, busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, take a shower, get dressed and uh, and life for work be 7 30 i get to a school at eight o'clock i como se dice prepare prepare mm -hmm. my la lesson and then teach until until noon, the the other teacher and uh, I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher room in the afternoon. I correct my student homework and tests after I get back home. I help my kids with their homework. I have their three kids. Their names are, are Matt, Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise in diner with my family and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We, we love to watch travel shows. Finally, I read in bed for a... ¿Cómo se diría? Feo? Few. 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 Minute. Before I fall, eh, yes, asleep, 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 asleep. asleep. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. 
Okay, so let's check some words. For example, BC, VC. I'm so busy today. So I'm a busy BC. person. VC, VC. Okay, the next one is the uh, daily routine uh, get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. With T. Get dressed. Buy. Buy. Prepare my lessons. Lessons. Students' homework, students' homework, dinner, this is dinner, right? Dinner, dinner, dinner. Watch, 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 travel, finally, okay, travel. This is travel, 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 travel. Okay, como que se now ahí, pero no, no está. Travel. Sino que es la L, la L, la V. Uh, this one. Uh, v. Travel. Finally. 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 A few minutes. A few minutes quiere decir unos cuantos minutos. Pocos minutos. So that's a few minutes. 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 Okay. Let's see. Volunteer. Vamos a ver voluntarios. Así yo. Que, sigo, sigo yo entonces. Yo. <laughs> Sergio, Sergio. <laughs> a ver. Algo, algo pateadito por ahí vamos. Um, I'm an English teacher. You can do it. Have... Uh, comienzo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an English teacher and English. I have English 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 teacher and I have a big fam family, so I have a very busy Peace. busy daily routine. First, I get up. Every day and at six o'clock, take a shower, take a shower, get dressed, and leave for work by seven. Sorry, I I get to a school at eight o'clock. I prepare prepare my li lesson and then teach until noon. The other teacher and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher room in the afternoon. I correct my student home, homework and test. After I, I get back home, I help my kid with their homework. I have to kill. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise eat dinner with my family and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel show. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Okay, excellent. It was very good. Um, just let's check this. Teacher's room. Teacher's room. Teacher's, teacher's room. room. Yeah, teacher's room at about, at about, at about, at about, about 7.30, at about 8 o'clock, at about 6.45. And I read. Um, yeah, because it's in the simple present. Okay, uh, ese verbo es particular porque se escribe igual en presente y en pasado. Solo que ahí nos lo dijo él en, en pasado. Entonces escribe igual. Um, pero la pronunciación en presente simple es I read. I read a book. I en read. pasado se escribe igual. Solo que eh, se lee como el color, ¿verdad? Como red. I read a book last night. Anoche leí un libro. I read a book. I read a book. Presente, read. Lo ponemos por aquí. Read. I read a book. Yo leo un libro. I read a book. Yo leí un libro. Okay, thanks a lot, Sergio. It was very good. Let's see. Next, next participant. Volunteer. Vamos a ver voluntario. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos is ready. Okay, Juan Carlos, go ahead. Vamos, Juan Carlos. I am an English teacher. Yeah. And I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. Daily routine. Daily routine. Daily, daily routine. Daily routine. Yeah. Five first, 
I get up every day at six o'clock, take a shower, get dressed, and leave for work. Be seven thirty. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lesson and then teach you until noon. Until noon. Until. Until noon. Mm. Yeah. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and tell and talk together in the teacher's room. In the afternoon, I correct my student homework and test. Okay. After I get I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exer exercise. Exercise, exercise. Exercise. I do some exercise, eat dinner. Eat dinner. With eat dinner. Eat dinner. Pardon, pardon. Eat dinner with my family. Family. And watch family. Family. Family, family, like an A. Family, 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 family. It's like an family, 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 family. Family. Okay, with my family and watch TV before. Before I go, before I go to the bed, I go to bed at about then 10 o'clock. Okay. Ten o'clock. We love to watch travel shows. Finally, I read in bed for a few mu minutes. 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 Minutes before I fall asleep. Okay. Thanks a lot, Juan Carlos. Very good. Let me see. Um. Okay, next, uh, Fidel, creo que Fidel era el siguiente. So I'm just going to repeat this vocabulary. BC, get dressed. BC, get dressed. Bye. Bye. Prepare Bye. my lessons. Prepare my lesson. Prepare my lesson. Students' homework. Students', homework. Students homework. Dinner. Students Dinner. Dinner. Watch. 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 Trouble. 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 Finally. 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 A few minutes. A few minutes. A few minutes. English. English. Teachers room. Teachers room. Teachers room. Okay, so it's teacher's room. Okay, teacher's, teacher's room. room. Teacher's At about. At about. about. I read. I, I read. read. Until. 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 The last one was before. before. Okay, before. 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 Okay, uh, watch TV before I go to bed. Okay, let's see. Volunteer, Fidel. Fidel, creo que era el siguiente. Vamos, Fidel. Yes. Okay. I'm an English teacher and I have a big family, so I have very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, take a shower, take a shower, get dressed, and leave for work by 7.30. 
I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lesson and the and then teach until noon the other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room in the afternoon. I correct my students' homework and test. After I get back home, I help my kids kids with their homework. I have three kids. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed. At, a, at about 10 o'clock, we love to watch travel show. Finally, I read in the bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Wow. Okay, excellent. Um, just uh, let's check this. Get back, get back, I get back home and kids, kids. Okay, I have three kids. Thanks a lot, Fidel. Kids. Con kids. Let oh. me play that for you. So I think you're gonna. This is going to be a little bit useful for you. Okay, so let me check. Let me open that. I can't. Okay. Kid. Okay, that's kids. 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 Es no es una I, es una I, pero corta. Okay. Kids. 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 I have kids. three kids. I have three kids. kids. Ok, so let's see, volunteer. Vamos a ver, voluntarios, chicos, chicas, ladies and boys. Jacqueline, oh. go ahead, Jacqueline. ¿Eh? ¿Eh? Se me activó. Ah, no, Por estar no. jugando. <risa> <risa> bueno, teacher, lo voy a Vamos, ver. Jacqueline. Eso, Sergio, nuestro otro teacher. <risa> Bien. I am English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, take a shower, get dressed. I, ¿Cómo se pronunciaba, teacher? Get dressed. Dress. I am leaving for work by 7.30. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lesson and then teach until noon. The other teacher and I always eat lunch and talk together, talk together in the teacher room. In the afternoon, I correct my student homework and test. After I get I get back home, I help my kid, my kids with their homework. I have three, three kids. Their name are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel show. Finally, I read, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Okay, it was very good, Jacqueline. So you were ready. Okay, let's see. Somebody else, raise your hand. Vamos a alguien levanta la manita ahí. All the tear, raise your hands. Vamos a poner levanta la ir con las reacciones. Levanta las manitas. Vamos a ver. El primero que levanta la manita. Walter dice. Ah, bien. Okay, Diane. I am an English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, take a shower, get dressed, and leave for work by seven. 7.30, I get to the school at 8 o'clock, 
I prepare my lesson and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. In the afternoon, I correct my student homework and test. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise. I eat dinner with my family, family and watch TV before. I go to bed. I go to bed. Hello, hello, hello. ¿Qué le pasó ahí? Tiene problemas de conexión. Mm -hmm. Ok, vamos entonces con el siguiente. Vamos a ver, voluntarios, voluntarias, chicas. Chicas, vamos hasta el momento los chicos van ganando. Ok, Merari. Toma, Merari. Ok, Merari, go ahead. Eso, Merari. <laughs> I am English teacher and I have a big family, so I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, take a shower, get dressed, and leave for work by seven. 30, I get to a school at 8 o'clock. I prepare my lesson and the dish on turn the other dish, the other dish, teacher, and always it's lunch and they in the teacher room in the afternoon I'm current my student homework and test after I get back home I help my kids with their homework I have three kids homework their homework homework homework, homework. homework. Yeah, I have three kids. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I don't some er exercise at dinner with my family and watch TV before. And go to bed about before. then o'clock. Before. 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 before I go I to go I go to bed at about then o'clock. Ten. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, ya me perdí. <laughs> we love to watch travel show. Finally, I read in the verb for a um, few minutes before I find asleep. Okay, finally, I read, read, I read in bed for a few minutes, minutes. Mm -hmm. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Okay, thanks a lot, Mirai. Homework, I do some exercise. I do some exercise, some, some, algo, algo ejercicio, poco, right? Eat dinner with my family and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. 10. 10. Okay, so that's number 10, right? 10 o'clock. Okay, let's see. Volunteer. Yolanda. Okay, Yolanda. I am, I am an English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, 
take a shower, get dressed, and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at 8 o'clock. I prepare my lesson and the teach until noon. The other teacher and always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher room in the afternoon. I correct my, my student homework and test. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercises. In dinner, while my family watch TV before, I go to bed at, at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel show. Finally, I was in bed for a few minutes before I sleep. Okay. Exercise. Exercise. Thanks a lot, Yolanda. Uh, let's, let's listen to the word minute. Echamos ahí eh, la palabra minuto. Minute. 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 Like, come on, a mini minute. <laughs> minute. Let's see. Uh, volunteer. Volunteer. Come on. So, voluntario. No more. Ya sabes, ¿quién no ha participado? Bueno, voy ahí. Walter, vamos con Walter. Yes. Antes de que hayan visto. El master, el master. <laughs> yeah. I am an English teacher. I, uh, and I have a big family. So I had a very busy daily routine. Chris, I get up every day at six o'clock, take a shower, get dressed. I leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at eight o'clock, prepare my lesson, and then teach until, until noon. The other teacher and I always eat lunch in tal together in teacher room in the afternoon. I covered my student homework and test. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family and watch TV. Before I go to bed at about o'clock, about 10 o'clock, we love to watch travel shows. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fa fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Before I fall asleep. Okay, so let's check these words. First, first, like an A, eh? first, first. En realidad es una I corta esta, pero es que es más, se escucha como que si fuera una E, pero en realidad es una I corta. Sonido corto. First, first, first. Six. Ok, esa eh, pronunciamos la. Lo digo en general, ¿verdad? Six, six, six. Ok, that's six. Is it clear? Six. Prepare, prepare, prepare. And, and, and. Kids. Ok, kids. Kids. En el plural se tiene que escuchar el, esa es al final. Kids, kids, kids. Ok. Let's see. Volunteer. Vamos a ver. Voluntario, chicos. <coughs> Voluntario. Eh, yo lo. David. Eh, David, estamos a punto de elegir víctimas. Vamos, David. I am English teacher and I have, have a big family. So I have a very busy. Uh, daily routine. First, uh, get up, get up 
every day and six o'clock, take a shower, get dressed, and I am late for work big 7.30 and, and get to sh a show at eight o'clock. I prepare my lesson and then teach until noon the other teachers and I advise at lunch and take together in the teacher room in the afternoon. I correct my student homework and test after I get I get back home. I I have my kids when their home homework. I haven't tear kids. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise and dinner with family and watch TV before I go to bed and and about then o'clock, ten o'clock, where we love to watch travel show. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I find a sleep. Okay, don't worry. Let's check some words. Two, uh, I love to watch, we love to watch. We love to watch travel shows to watch. It's like two, to watch. Then we have 10. The next one is 10, fall asleep, fall asleep. This is 10, 10, 10, fall asleep, fall asleep. Quedarse dormir. Okay, let's see. Do we have any anybody else or we continue with the next part? ¿Tenemos algún voluntario más? O oh, seguimos, seguimos, chicos. Por ahí creo que tenemos una manita levantada. Ok, let's see, Carlita. Okay, okay. I am an English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily time. First, I get up every day at 6 o'clock, take a shower, get dressed, and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at 8 o'clock. I prepare my lesson and then teach until noon the other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. In the afternoon, I correct my, my students' homework and test. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I had three kids. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family and watch TV before I go to the bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch trouble shows. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall as asleep. Asleep, before uh, I fall asleep. Asleep, asleep. Minutes, minutes, I fall asleep. Uh, daily routine, 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 routine. Hello, I'm going to talk about my daily routine. First, I, I see I'm sorry, routine, routine. Okay, and, okay. Acá creo que por aquí ha surgido, he notado esto. Quizá por lo parecido de su escritura. No sé si será por eso, pero he escuchado acá. Estamos pronunciando el 10 como then. Me parece, no sé si, si es así, pero vale. tenemos este que es el conector. Luego, este se pronuncia then, then, y el 10 que es ten, ten, ok? Then and ten, ten, ten o'clock. Ahora, about, ¿cómo leemos esa, esa parte de la preposición alrededor de o cerca de at about, at about, about? About, at about, at about 10 o'clock. I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. 
algo también que les va a ayudar bastante, leer es, es muy importante y bueno, con ustedes, ya, ustedes ya conocen todo este vocabulario, la mayor parte que dice ahí ustedes lo conocen. Entonces, cuando usted ya, ya conoce el vocabulario, bueno leer porque le ayuda a afirmar lo que ya estaba aprendiendo. También hay algunos signos de puntuación como comas, full stops o periods, puntos finales y como básicamente. Entonces, cuando van leyendo, traten de ir haciendo también algunas pausas para que se le escuche más uh, comprensible, incluso para ustedes mismos, porque podemos estar leyendo y puede ser que eh, estemos leyendo sin comprender lo que estamos leyendo. Entonces, vayan haciendo las pausas y tratar de, de, de darle sentido a lo que, lo que van leyendo. Eso es una recomendación. Ahora, vamos viendo nuevamente, hacemos una lectura general nuevamente, y vamos poniendo atención a esas pequeñas pausas, ¿verdad? I'm an English teacher and I have a, I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, take a shower, get dressed, and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. In the afternoon, I correct my students' homework and tests. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel shows. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. ¿Cómo lo sintieron? ¿Cuánto me das 10? <ríe> por, eso Entonces, nuestra, por eso nuestra teacher. <ríe> Entonces, no, la idea, es que, la idea es que todo vaya mejorando. Entonces, um, es bueno que cuando ustedes ya manejan vocabulario, hagan lecturas también. Les voy a recomendar una página, quizá al final de la clase, se la voy a enviar al, ahí al, al grupo para que empiecen a hacer algunas lecturas. Se les va a ir ayudando a reafirmar lo que han hecho. Ok, bueno. Uh, do we have any, any last volunteer? ¿Tenemos algún voluntario extra? Oh, yo creo que ya estuvimos todos. No, me avisan. Ahora sí, yo cargo aquí lo que teníamos. Ok. Vamos a checar vocabulario. Creo que algunas van a, van, a, van a sacar alguna nueva. So question, which words below can you use to describe your daily routine? ¿Qué palabras pueden utilizar para escribir su rutina diaria? So let's check the following. Alarm clock. Listen, listen to that. Alarm clock. Alarm clock. Alarm clock. Alarm y clock. Ajá, aquí podría ser sin la R también. Alarm clock or alarm clock. What is that? What is an alarm clock? What is an alarm clock? Alarma. An alarm. Alarma de despertador. Un despertador. Exacto. Un despertador. Afternoon. Ok. Afternoon. 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 Okay. So the stress goes at the end, right? Afternoon. Arrive, oh, arrive, arrive, listen, arrive. What is the meaning for arrive? Arrive. ¿Qué significaba arrive el verbo? Arrive. What is arrive? Llegar a. Okay. Llegar. Llegar a. Okay. Breakfast. So just listen and repeat with me. They were going to be checking the meaning. Okay. Breakfast. 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 Okay. Breakfast. Vici. Breakfast. Vici. 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 Call. Vici. 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 Call Vici. 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 Call Vici. 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 Call Vici. 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 Call Vici. 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 Commute, 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 yes. commute means to travel, transportarse, oh, yes. so that's commute, 
Okay. Cook, 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 cook. Listen, cook. I cook dinner. I cook breakfast. I cook. I cook. I cook. A rice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, dinner. 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 Do exercise. Do, do exercise. exercise. Do exercise. Exercise. Do exercise. Exercise. Do homework. Do, do homework. homework. Do homework. Do homework. Do housework. Do housework. What is the housework? What is housework? Trabajo de casa. Uh -huh. Los oficios de la casa. Trabajo de casa. Ajá, los oficios de la casa. Lavar, planchar, I don't know. So, drink. Bastantes cosas. Drink. Housework. Drink. Housework. 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 Uh, homework. Housework. Miren, tienen dos tareas. Do the homework and do the housework. A las tareas y los oficios. Drink. Drive. Drink. Drive. 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 Oh, the next one, right. early, 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 early. Okay, I get up early in the morning, me levanto temprano por la mañana, de madrugada, I get up early in the morning, me levanto temprano, early in the morning, I get up early in the morning, I get up early in the morning, or I get up late in the morning, me levanto tarde, early, el opuesto es late, late, okay. Late. Late. Eso no lo puede enviar, Tichi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Por favor. Okay. Eat. 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 Como el, eat. Como el uh, personal pronoun eat. Como el pronombre personal eat. Eat. Evening. Eat. Evening. 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 Fall asleep. 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 Fall For example, feed my cat. Alimentar. A mi gato. Alimentar al mish. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get up. Get dressed. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get washed. Get washed. So that's a phrase. Talk. Una pregunta. Take a shower. Yeah. Feed no es un verbo. ¿Cuál? Feed. Alimentar. Sí. Sí es un verbo. Ajá, que veo que ahí no tiene la B, la V. Ah, oh, no, es, lo está, aquí la frase en puesto. Feed my cat. Alimentar a mi gato. Okay. Okay. ok, get wash uh, means having a quick questionable. Uh, well, that's basically take a shower. Ok. Ok, let's see. Uh, the next one. Go for a walk. 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 Go for a walk. Walk. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go online. Go online. Go out to eat. Go out to eat. Go out. Go out to eat. So this is go out to eat. Go out to eat. Go out to eat. Salir. ¿A dónde? Salir a? Comer. A comer. Ajá. Estos que tienen este PHR son phrasal verbs. Son phrasal verbs. Go out to eat. Go shopping. Go shopping. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to school. Go to school. Ajá. Acá cuando esta te aquí me hacen va en medio esas dos vocales. Go to school. Verde una e. O puedes decirla con la tercera. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to school. Go to school. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. 
go to work, go to work, go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Entonces, cuando ustedes lo escuchan, ya en una canción o lo escuchan en un video, ¿y dónde está el tú? Que, el, que está ahí, lo han puesto y no lo escuché, o se escuchó como otra cosa. Ajá. Eso, porque ahí suena como una herida, es bien suavecito. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Go window shopping. Go window shopping. Go window shopping. ¿Qué es? Es window shopping. Ventana. Ventana, ok, tenemos tienda. ventana. Tienda. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos cuando vamos a, a ese salmón? Vitrinear. Ah, exacto. <laughs> Vitrinear. So that's window shopping. That's window shopping. I go window shopping with my friends or with my sister, with my brother, with my best friend. So I go window shopping. Hang out. 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 Salir. Salir. Salir con alguien. Sal, puede salir con alguien. Yeah. So you like to hang out. Salir a pasear. Have a coffee. 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 Javi. 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 Leave. 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 Listen to music. 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 Okay. Lunch. Lunch. And morning. 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 Incluso morning. Solo morning. A veces en saludos. A veces solo dicen morning. Okay. Night, night, eso no lo hago porque si lo van a utilizar en el contexto así de llamadas o con su jefe, tiene que ser un saludo formal. Good morning, Mr. Sergio. Night, 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 on time, on time, on time, order out, order out, order out, play. Play, play, read, read, read. read. Relax. relax, 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 schedule, 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 no, no, la shell, no, schedule, schedule, okay, schedule, 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 Ordenar comida, comida, que nos lleven un delivery. Ok, the next one is see a movie, see a movie, see, see a, a movie, movie. A movie. Sleep. Sleep. sleep, sleep, snack, sleep. Snack. 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 snack, what is snack, snack. What is a snack? Uh, bocadillos, bocadillos, ok, son los snacks. Uh, stay home. Stay, stay home. Stay home. Stay home. Stay study. 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 Take a break. Take, Take a break. A break. Take a break. Take a bus. Take a bus. Bus. Take a bus. Take a bus. Take a nap. Take a nap. Take a nap. Take a nap. What is it? Yes, take a nap. Take a nap. I don't know. Cuando acaban de almorzar. Para una siesta. Ajá, cuando acaban de almorzar, you usually take a nap. Okay. Okay. Take a nap. Cuando te se duerme. <laughs> take a rest. Take a rest. Take a rest. Uh, take a rest. Me decían ayer que después descansaban, me decían, después de, tra de trabajar o del almuerzo, no me acuerdo qué me dijeron. Take a rest. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. 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 Take a Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Walk. 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 Okay. Wash dishes. Wash, wash dishes. dishes. 
Watch. Watch TV. Watch, watch TV. Watch TV. So this is wash dishes. Wash dishes. Watch TV. And this is watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Weekday. Weekday. What is a weekday? It's a weekday. 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 It's a weekday. Día de la semana. Weekend. 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 What is a weekend? Y el weekend fin era de semana. fin de semana. Fin de semana. Fin de semana. Ah, fin de semana. Ok, bien. Voy a pausar un ratito. Y uh, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Ok. Mientras abrimos ahí la asistencia. Ok. Treinta y ocho, donde prima. Voy ahí con los treinta y ocho. Treinta y ocho, el qué. <ríe> Muy caro, ni allá, Kenny. Aquí estos muchachos saben de todo. <ríe> es que yo, miren, es que yo estoy negociando un teléfono ahorita. <ríe> Bárbara. Así la business bien. woman. Yeah, she's a business woman. <laughs> Afternoon. Um, what time do you get? Okay, let me see, guys. Hold on, it was charging. Oh. Okay, Adriana Lisset Chavez Lopez. Present. Thanks, Adriana. Next is Ana Coralia Flores de Hernandez. César Ernesto Portillo. César Ernesto Portillo Díaz. Dayana Elizabeth Ramírez Arevalo. Este. Ok. Diana Verónica Cisneros Toledo. Diego Alberto Quintanilla Morales. Edwin Alexander Argote López. Present. Ok. Elsie Arely Ruiz Meléndez. Present. Ok. Fidel Antonio Villatoro Hernández. Present. Gerson Oswaldo Dera Santana. Present, teacher. Gloria Elizabeth Contreras Sergueta. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo de Sura. Present, teacher. Thanks. José David Zúñiga Padilla. Uh, present, present. Thanks. José María Mejía Espinosa. Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Present. Hello, hello. Ok. Está José María. Juan, uh, Karen Gemina Membreño. Present. Ok. Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos. Present. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda Díaz. Present. 
Thanks. Maria Fernanda Morán Rivas. Present. Merari Andrea Sánchez Facundo. Present. Ok. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Girón. Present. Walter Amilca Ramírez Molina. Present. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok, thanks. Ok, guys, so now we we'll continue with our manual. Let me see. Ok, dice Juan Carlos. David. <laughs> Está durmiendo, David. <laughs> ok, vamos, vamos, seguimos. Una pregunta, chicos, ¿cómo han, um, ya completaron todas las tareas, por lo menos las de esta semana? Ya sí. Tres clases hasta el día de hoy. Ok, vamos a estar checando hoy ese avance. Igual voy a compartirles hoy un poquito de cómo vamos con la asistencia. Pero, ¿verdad? Y quienes estén interesados en conocerla también. Incluso creo que la mayoría no ha tenido dificultades con asistencia. Solamente hay eh, algunas con las que no sé qué les ha pasado. Lick. Diga. Yo la, la primera tarea no la, no la pude hacer, no la entendí nada. Vaya, y la hice un montón de veces y todas me salían mal. Vaya, no se preocupe, aclaramos eso, nos quedamos al final. Vaya, gracias. Ok. ¿No le dieron copia a estos hipotes? No, no, no nadie me dio copia. Ni esta ya no, aquí, ¿ves? No tiene tiempo, eh, pero no las hemos juntas. <risa> <risa> okay, Yo vamos. no la pude hacer tampoco. <risa> Vaya, ya somos dos. <risa> Lo intenté de todas maneras y me daba error. Igual. <risa> sí, teacher, daba error, aunque usted la corrigiera y... Bueno, yo me busqué ayuda ahí con Google y tampoco siempre me dio error, no sé por qué. Ni Google quiso colaborar. Es trampa, ya que. Es que es por los apóstrofes y el punto al final. Uh -huh. Ah, exacto, el punto al final me molestó sí, a mí varias yo, veces. Yo Hay lo que hice. Yo ponía. Vaya, ya vele, pónganos 10 a todos. Sí, yo, me, yo me asusté porque todas las mujeres. Si ustedes no lo pusieran, ¿y por qué le voy a poner 10? Por el punto. Lick 10 a todo. Yo iba a desertar ya porque no le había puesto el punto. Todas me habían salido malas. Decepcionado estaba ya. No, no sirvo para esto. Ya. <risa> Algo así estaba yo en plan, puta chica, no soy ni capaz de hacer esto. Yo iba a renunciar a las clases ya. No, no le creo, muy fácil. Muy fácil. Tú, un apóstrofe las esté ahí molestando. Ok, ah, seguimos acá. Um, al final vemos, vemos eso, pero yo cre creo que lo que mencionó su compañero es cierto, son los apóstrofos o espacios a veces de, de, de ser ciudadanos. Así hay algunos que a veces dan, dan errores, ¿verdad? pero es, a veces es, es que el, el ejercicio o lo han dejado con doble espacio o una letra es minúscula donde debería ser mayúscula o algún pronombre no se ha ubicado bien o los puntos final no se ha ubicado es un, algo así sucede ok so now we'll continue with um, the book and we're gonna have a listening activity so we're gonna be listening to five different people talk about their occupations and then we're gonna complete the exercises ok and then we'll continue with this one listening so vamos acá con este listening. Okay, let me see. Sergio, can you read the instruction, please? Hello, Sergio. Activate your microphone. Okay. Do the preparation exercise before you listen, then do, do 
the order exercise to check your understanding. Okay, so it's gonna be simple. Okay, so now, now you have to match the pictures with the correct occupations. I'm going to send you the link. Les envío el enlace. So, pueden ir haciendo ustedes, si están en la computadora también, pueden ir haciendo. Si no, lo hacemos acá juntos. So, picture number one, which could be the occupation, the profession, shop assistant, nurse, doctor, police officer, dentist, teacher, Cleaner um, or pilot? Dentist. 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 Yes, right? It's the dentist. Okay, dentist. The second one. What do you think? Uh, teacher. 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 Number three. Doctor. 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 Number Doctor. four. Doctor. Teacher. Four. Doctor. Teacher. Teacher. Uh, Doctor. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. I love cleaner. 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 Shop cleaner. Shop the next one? Police. 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 Office. Office. Police. Police. And this one? Cleaner. 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 Okay. Mándanos eso, teacher, para practicar nosotros. Ya les envié el enlace aquí en el chat de Zoom. Okay. Okay. Perfect. You got a 10. So you got a perfect score. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, listen. Vamos a ver, por ahí vamos a poner mío. Estoy ahí con una musiquita. Okay. Bien. So, right now I'm going to play the listening. I need you to pay close attention and concentrate with the listening. Try to take some notes. And uh, later you're going to have a task. Okay. Later I'm going to show you this transcript. Okay. Primero le voy a poner así el, el audio para que ustedes vayan identificando algunas cosas. Luego yo les muestro el transcript. Okay. So try to take some ideas. Vayan tomando algunos apuntes de lo que vayan comprendiendo. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay. Hey. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. B. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university colleges, and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip, but last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. C. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. It's so important to look after your teeth. D. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. Uh, the best thing is visiting different places. E. I work in a hospital in the city centre. It's a very big hospital. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform. 
and sometimes I have to work at night. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. To find others like it, visit www.britishcouncil.org forward slash learn English teens. Okay, so listen again. The instruction is the following. So you're going to be listening to five different people talking about their jobs and do the exercises to practice and to practice and improve your listening skills. So the occupations that you're going to be listening to are the following. Uh, followings, dentist, teacher, doctor, shop assistant, pilot, nurse, police officer, and cleaner, I think. So you have like, I don't know how many they were, but they are mentioning that are A, B, C, D, E, and F, I guess. Creo que son, llega hasta la F. Entonces, se tienen que identificar qué ocupación es, o por lo menos tratar de identificar qué ocupación es por cada uno de los literales que van mencionando, porque van dando una breve descripción. I'm going to play it again. I'm going to play it again so you can get more ideas. Lo pongo de nuevo, no porque uh, yo creo que ya las tienen algunos, pero para que vaya uh, adquiriendo más información. Let's see. Second time. Hey. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. B. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university colleges, and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip. But last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. C. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. It's so important to look after your teeth. D. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. Uh, the best thing is visiting different places. E. I work in a hospital in the city centre. It's a very big hospital. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform, and sometimes I have to work at night. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. A. Okay, so I listened to that a uh, third time. And um, remember, there are some uh, occupations from these, um, from these ones, but not all of them, I guess. Okay, let's see. Here we go again. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. What do you think, guys? What is his occupation? What's the teacher? Difference? Teacher? teacher. Okay. teacher. Oh. So you think it's teacher. Let me see. Play it again. 
I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. B. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university colleges, and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip, but last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. C. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. It's so important to look after your teeth. D. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. Uh, the best thing is visiting different places. E. I work in a hospital in the city centre. It's a very big hospital. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform and sometimes I have to work at night. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. To find others like it, visit www. Okay, let's see. Uh, so you mentioned that the first um, person was the, the teacher, you said. How about B? What do you think? So, alguien que haya identificado y que era el B? Ahí les envío el audio. Okay, B. A. La A creo que es el, el ¿cómo se llama? Shop, shop assistant. Ok, so you think it's a shop assistant. Ok, B is a teacher. B is a teacher. Ok, C, what do you think? Dentista. Dentist. Oh, yeah. Dentist. Pilot. Pilot. Uh -huh. E. Nurse. 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 Okay. Yeah. Doctor. Doctor. Okay. Is there Doctor. any other? I have one other. Let me see. E, uh, <laughs> so why do we have F? Okay. So you think it's a uh, nurse or doctor? Let's see. So here you have the transcript. Okay. I will let's go with transcript and. Let's read that all together. Uh, well, let's see. Volunteer. Vamos a ver. Ya lo escuchamos tres veces. Voluntary que nos ayuda ahí a leer la primera. Primera ocupación. La descripción. Volunteer. Ok. Ok, Yolanda. Ok. Va. I work on Saturday and, and in the school holiday. Saturday are busy because that's when every home. Everyone, everyone, mm, everyone Go. goes shopping or shop, go, sell, goes. close, shopping or shop, sell, close, close and accessories, accessories, accessory for men, women and children, I work in the children department, it can be crazy, Sometime, but it's fun. Eh, entonces, este es el asistente de la tienda. Okay, so we're going to be checking that soon. 
I work on Saturdays in the and in the school holidays. Trabajo los sábados y en las fiestas, las vacaciones. Vacaciones de um, school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes, 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 and accessories for men. Women and children. I work in the children's department. Trabajo en el departamento de... Niños. De niños. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. Puede ser loco a veces, pero es divertido. Okay, B, volunteer. Vamos a voluntar ahí para el B. Vamos. Okay, Sergio. Uh, I, I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of stories in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university college and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat stripe. But last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all uh, over the world. Okay, excellent. So now let's read it again. I work during during my summer holidays. Trabajo durante mis vacaciones de verano. 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 Summer holidays. When I'm not at the university, cuando no estoy en la universidad, Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer. Oxford tiene miles de turistas cuando? En el verano. En el verano. verano. Uh -huh. So, así que, it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. Así que fácil encontrar un trabajo como qué? Como guía. Como guía turística. I take tourists to visit the university colleges and then we go down to the river. River, river. river. Okay. Bajamos. So they go down to the river. Bajan al río. We go along the river on a boat. Okay. The tourists love the boat trip. What is a boat trip? Boat. Como paseo en bote. Un paseo en bote. Yes, un paseo en bote. But last summer, one tourist fell in the river. <laughs> Mire, yo lo escuchaba que se estaba riendo. Va, ajá, se cayó. ¿A dónde se cayó? En el río. <laughs> I love el meeting río. people. Yeah, fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. ¿Qué es lo que le, le gusta? Dice que ama las reuniones sí, con las personas. Conocer, conocer. Meeting, aparte de, ajá, puede ser meeting o meet, puede ser un, reunión, puede ser conocer también. Me encanta conocer personas de todo el mundo. Ok, sí, volunteer, vamos a ver ahí, volunteer. Ok, yo I like my job, but uh, no, but lots of people don't like. Coming to see, to see me because they had this sometimes very hard work. Okay, continue. <laughs> no, se no se iba Yolanda. <laughs> no, no worry, continue. Okay. <laughs> bueno, no, no, no. Eh, to see because, no, to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. It's so important important to look after your teeth. Okay, excellent, Harrison. Let's see vocabulary from this um from this uh transcript. But lots of people, lots of people. ¿Qué significa lots of people? Lots. Pero muchas personas. Muchas personas no le don't gusta. like coming to see me. No le gusta venir a verme. So don't like coming to see me. Because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work. Es un trabajo muy duro. 
Muy duro. Muy duro. But it's great to help people when they have a problem. So it's important to look after your teeth. Look after, to look after. What is the meaning? Look after. Apariencia. Cuidado. Es como. Uh -huh. Es como. Vamos a ver. Además, ahí tenía otra opinión. Look after. Cuidar. Cuidar sus dientes. Es importante. It's so important. Es muy importante. Este so aquí no está como. Así que, sino que es, es muy, eso es muy, es un quantifier, es muy importante cuidar sus dientes, tus dientes. Sí, o, podría, o podría ser este teacher eh, como, como, no sé, porque yo lo entendí como revisar tus dientes antes. ¿Cuál? Oh, ya, yeah. ya, yeah, mm. sí, ya entendí, ya entendí el punto. Vale, este es un phrasal verb. Cuando nosotros unimos este, una preposición con un verbo. Entonces aquí tenemos eh, la preposición to y el verbo look. To look after. Entonces ah, cuando hacemos eso creamos un nuevo significado. No lo creamos sino que ya está. ¿verdad? Entonces pero se crea un nuevo significado que es cuidar en este caso. Es muy importante cuidar los dientes. No sé si así, así lo había comprendido, como literalmente, creo yo que lo, lo había comprendido. Ajá, sí. Ajá. Ok, ese es el caso de, de estos. Es un phrase, Albert. Ok, okay y, gracias. Volunteer, vamos a ver. Valde. Yo, mi corto, okay, que me escuché cortado. ¿Se escucha? Ya, ahorita se escucha bien. Bueno, no, pues por eso para el, el video para ver si se me escucha. Okay, my job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes to take people to different places on holidays. Most of the time I fly in Europe, Europe to places like Spain, Greece, 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 and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and the thunderstorm are the worst. Are the worst. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Are the worst. And the best thing is visiting different places. The best thing, thing is visiting different places. Okay, so my job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes. Okay, me encanta. ¿Qué le encanta acá él? Volar. Volar. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Sí, me gusta volar aviones que llevan a las personas that take people to different places on holiday, de vacaciones. Ma, ok, most of the time, la mayor parte del tiempo, most of the time, I fly in Europe to places like, like Spain. Vuelo a Europa a lugares como Spain, España, Grecia e Italia. Italy, yeah, the most difficult thing. ¿Qué es lo más difícil? La cosa más difícil de su trabajo. Cuando el clima está malo. El clima. Por ejemplo. Nieve y tormentas eléctricas. Ok. ¿Qué son? ¿Lo mejor o lo peor? Los peores. Lo peor. Mm -hmm. Son lo peor. Eso oh. quiere decir the worst. Son lo peor. La vez, sí, ¿cuál es lo mejor que dice ahí él? Son su Visita diferentes Visita lugares. Diferente. Would you like to be a pilot? ¿Le gustaría ser pilots? Yes. Pilots. Yeah, maybe, yeah, it could be. And E, volunteer. Vamos a ser voluntario para el último. Voluntario, voluntario. Yo. Ok. E. I work in 
a hospital in the city center. It's a very big hospital. I have the doctors with the patients. Patients, patients. Patients. With the patients, I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel it, feel, feel it. Ill, ill. Ill. When they feel ill, feel they. Oh, when they uh, feel ill. When they when feel they ill. feel ill. When they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform and sometimes I have to work at night. Okay, let's see. What was this occupation? ¿Qué era esta ocupación? Do you remember? Nurse. Uh, nurse? Okay, so we're gonna check that. Yeah. I work in a I work in a hospital. Hospital. I work in a hospital. Let me see if I can show it to you. Hospital. 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 Okay. Hospital. And let's go back here. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. Cuando los cuida. Cuando los cuida. Cuando ellos se sienten. What if I feel ill? Okay. Ill. What is the meaning for ill? Sorry. Ill. Sergio Juan Carlos, do you know what is ill? Mirari, Jacqueline, what is ill? Sentirse enfermo. Enfermo. Yeah, cuando se siente enfermo. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform, and sometimes I have to work at night. Okay, so now, now you have a task. Speaker A work as... A, vamos a ver, ahora sí hacemos el match. Speaker A works as a, el hablante a, trabaja como un dentist, nurse, shop assistant, tour guide, or pilot. Shop assistant. Shop assistant. Shop okay. assistant. Speaker B works as a dentist, nurse, tour guide, or pilot. What do you remember? Tour guide. Tour guide. Okay. Speaker C works as a dentist. dentist. Okay. Dentist. Speaker D works as a pilot. 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 And the last one? Nurse. 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 Let's see. Excellent. So you got a 10. Miren qué fácil es el inglés que se le está diciendo ya. Podemos ya. <laughs> ok, let's see. So we have a second task. Job search 2. Ok. Tenemos acá otro listening. Es en búsqueda de trabajo. Job search. Let's see. Ok. So we have a pre-listening. A common topic of conversation centers around our work and people often might ask about our jobs, including specific details or on what we do. Listening exercise. Listen to the recording. You will hear a man talking about a job. Choose the job that goes with the sentence you hear. Then review the script to, the, to this listening activity at the bottom of the page. Yes, I Oh, yeah. Hello, hello. Okay, so I'll play the listening. And... El karma, Gerson. ¿Qué les pasó? <laughs> no, lo siento, es que me preguntaron algo y pensé que tenía el, el, el micrófono apagado. Lo siento. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. vamos a ver. Creo que ya es, es que quieren un speaking. <laughs> 
Bona <laughs> Okay, listen to the recording. You will hear a man talking about a job. Choose the job that goes with the sentence you hear. Tiene que elegir el trabajo que eh, mejor se relaciona con la oración que vayan escuchando. He really enjoys. Okay, chef, host, bank teller. Okay, bank teller is un, un, un cajero, let's say, bank teller. My father. Professor, firefighter, therapist. I know. Uh, I now work downtown. Software programmer, manager, accountant. She carries part of her job: police officer, landscaper, and truck driver. The man will explain. Tour guide, teacher, travel agent. Maria works at a telemarketer, secretary, or sales associate. And for the last one, you only select that, the correct one. Le voy a enviar el, le voy a enviar el enlace a través de, de Zoom, okay, para que ustedes lo puedan abrir. Okay. Si no se escucha bien acá, a través de la videollamada, pueden ponerlo, ¿verdad? pueden ponerlo ustedes ahí. Iniciamos. Number one. He really enjoys preparing food at the Italian restaurant. Number two, my father teaches math at a university in our hometown. Number three, I now work downtown at a bank using software programs to manage their financial records. Number four, she carries a gun for protection as part of her job. Number five. The man will explain all of the historical sites on your trip. Number six. Maria works at a clothing store helping customers find what they need. Number seven. He'll stop near the next light, and you can get off there. He'll stop at the next light, and you can get off there. Number eight. The woman took my order, but the food hasn't come yet. Number nine, the man said that my car wouldn't be ready until tomorrow because he hasn't finished repairing the problem. Number ten, my sister enjoys working for the airlines, but traveling so much and assisting passengers all day on long flights can be tiring. Okay, so are we going to listen that again? Do you want to listen that again? Yes, teacher. Okay, here we go. Number one, he really enjoys preparing food at the Italian restaurant. Number two, my father teaches math at a university in our hometown. Number three. I now work downtown at a bank using software programs to manage their financial records. Number four, 
She carries a gun for protection as part of her job. Number 5. The man will explain all of the historical sites on your trip. Number 6. Maria works at a clothing store helping customers find what they need. Number 7. He'll stop near the next light and you can get off there. He'll stop at the next light and you can get off there. Number 8. The woman took my order, but the food hasn't come yet. Number 9. The man said that my car wouldn't be ready until tomorrow because he hasn't finished repairing the problem. Number 10. My sister enjoys working for the airlines, but traveling so much and assisting passengers all day on long flights can be tiring. Okay, let's see. Let's identify which is the first occupation he really enjoys. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Chef. 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 Yeah, chef. <clears throat> really enjoys preparing food at the Italian restaurant. Chef. My father teaches math in our hometown. Professor. Professor. Okay. Professor. I now work downtown. I now work downtown. Software programmer. Software programmer. Oh, Yolanda? Software, software programmer. Okay, let's see. Program. No, it was accountant. Look at this. I know. Uh, I now work downtown at a bank okay. using software programs to manage their financial records. Entonces ya registros financieros. That was an accountant. Who's on software, but no es un software program. She carries part a of gun. Police, police, police officer. A gun, yeah. She carries a gun for protection as part of her job. The man will explain. To a guy. To a guy? Oh, yeah. guy, the man will explain all of the historical sites. Viene todos los sitios históricos en tu viaje. Sorry, God. Okay, Maria works at at a clothing store. Yeah, what do you have for that one? ¿Qué tienen para esa? Secretary, uh -huh. Secretary. And the rest. Secretary. Secretary. Okay. It's this one. Sales oh, associate. Aha, uh -huh. es como un salesperson, ¿no? Es un vendedor. Sales associate. Otra forma de decirlo. Sales associate. 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 Entonces nosotros conocemos, lo conocemos salesperson. Salesperson. It's under. Okay. Sales associate and vendor. Maria uh, works at a clothing store helping customers find out uh, what, what they need. Sales associate. Number seven, what is his occupation? Bus driver. Bus driver. Bus, bus driver. He'll stop near the next light and you can get off there. Number eight. I, I have a question 
Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of host? Um, let's see. It's it's an amphitryon. Let's say the host, the person who invites guests to a meal. El, creería que es el anfitrión que invita a la a los invitados a una cena en una fiesta o who has been in her house no sé exactamente cómo es que le llaman mm, pero alguien que, que, que recibe visitas o invitados o que los hospeda no sé cómo, cómo le cómo le dicen ustedes excepcionista no el, mm. la persona que la persona que anfitrión no sería como el la persona encargada de hacer el, el hospedaje. ¿Recepcionista? Recepcion no, sería más bien un host. No, es peor, no. Mm -hmm. es el anfitrión, diría yo. Es el host. ¿Sabe cómo es en inglés, pero en español no? <ríe> vamos a ver, vamos a buscarle sí. No la tengo en español, pero yo diría el anfitrión, vamos a ver, el host. Host. Sí, el anfitrión es el hospedador, bueno, el hospedador final, es el anfitrión. Um, yeah. Thank you. El host, ok. Okay, Aka, what, what do you have for number eight? Server. Server, okay. The woman took my order, but the food hasn't come out yet. Number nine, what do you think? Mechanic. Mechanic. Oh. Mechanic. Mechanic. Okay. The man said that my car wouldn't be ready. Que mi carro no estaría listo. Hasta mañana. My car wouldn't be ready until tomorrow because he hasn't finished repairing the problem. And the last one, what is her occupation? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. My sister enjoys working for the airlines. Le encanta trabajar para las aerolíneas, but traveling so much and assisting passengers all day long, and todo el día, all day long, uh, flights can be tiring, flight attendant. Okay, how was it? ¿Cómo estuvo listening? ¿Cómo lo sintieron? ¿Estaba un poquito difícil? ¿O más fácil? Very. Very easy. But very difficult. <laughs> difficult. Difficult. I don't think so. Okay, nice. So right now, based on what we have studied, um, we're going to work with the following worship. So I need you to take a screenshot. Okay, necesito que le tome una captura. Voy a ver una. No sé si alguien puede hacer el recorte ahí y lo comparte con los demás. La mandan, porfa. Ahí, sí. Alguien nos haga el recorte ahí. So what you're going to do right now is working in groups and you have to complete these 15 sentences with the words on the left. So these words on the left, you're going to um, place the correct word into the correct sentence. So you have to analyze and read the sentence first, right? In order to uh, place the word in the correct space. ¿Alguien que ya, ya tenga la captura? Ya la mandaron, dicho. Ok, perfecto. Rápido, esto sí, por favor. Ok. ¿Es claro? ¿Preguntas? ¿Todo claro? Ok. Me avisan si hay alguien que se quede sin invitación. Ya, ya envía la invitación a todos.
Karen. Recibí invitación, Karen. Oh, Elsie, les envío nuevamente, chicas. Carlos, me lo dejaron solito. Karen, me confirma ahí, Karen. Eh, ya no van a... <risa> todavía no van ya lo voy pasando por acá ok ok acá no la compañía creería yo que es lunch tenemos lunch Ah, sí, sí. Ah, pues creería yo, yo que es lunch, ¿verdad? porque ah, con los compañeros, dinner es la cena, ya no, no, no la tomaría con los compañeros. Vaya, vamos a la otra que es eh, la ocho. In the, in the morning, in the night, tenemos night. No, in the afternoon. Afternoon. 
Uh -huh. In the yeah. afternoon, I take a bus to go back uh -huh. home. I get yes. back home at about five o'clock. See, in the afternoon, I take a bus to go back home. I get back home at about five o'clock. Sí, ahí es afternoon. Por la hora. Vamos a la nueve. After I get home, it's often. I like. Often es como he pasado de algo. I often. I often. Homework, no. O housework. Often es frecuentemente. Dice aquí entonces. Frecuentemente. Y frecuentemente, hmm, dice aquí, after I get home, after. No, no, hello, no, did you finish? No, hombre, estamos más verdes que el aguacate. <laughs> vamos, vamos a otra, porque esa sí no sabemos nada. ¿Qué es jogging? Ah, yoga. yoga. Okay. No, es correr. Trotar. Ah, trotar. Ah, pues. Ah, pues sería to, to exercise. Exercise. Ah, pero es que. A la tercera no, no era. Cabal. Vaya, vamos al 10. Acéptate. Sí. Ahí está. ¿Cómo van, chicas? Bien. 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 Vamos a las 5. Es que la vamos ahí armando de una vez, Ah, ok. After that. After that, I... Uh, you use work? Empieza. Clean, can you feel clean? Limpiar. Mm, a ver. Ahí en la 10 creo que otra vez sería el, el take a shower. No. No. Oh, sí. Yo creo que Yo... sí, porque sería after that eh, I take a shower para, sen para sentirse limpio y fresco. Ok. Se puede after repetir. That, me imagino que sí. De la once sería Then I often help my wife. ¿Cuál? Ayuda a mi esposa. Housework. Do house, housework. Housework. Ah, sí, las tareas de la casa. Housework. Sí. Uh -huh. Then I often help my, my wife. Uh -huh. my, my wife do housework. Housework, for example. For, uh, I sweep the floor and see, yes, I. Sweep the floor. Sí, sí. I like to help my kids. I. Are you con los niños? Then. Um, it's helpful. Cena, diner, no. De eh, Ah, pues sí, creo que sí. ¿Cuál va, chicos? En la 12. Oh, la 12 ha avanzado bastante. I like to help my kids. Relax. Homework, homework con las tareas, con de homework. Ah, algo sí, así. ¿verdad? Que dicen que ayudo. Ajá. Ay, eh, el, ay, Ayuda ay, a los niños ay, a cantar. Ajá. 
I like I got a new tareas. There sometimes my son needs help with this math. They so no, they do homework, lo que sería las tareas. Algunas veces sometimes my son needs help con esta con esa materia algo así. Matemática. Con matemática. Su, con su matemática ya. Yeah. Con su tarea de matemática, algo así. Tarea de matemática. Entonces sería, la, la primera sería eh, do homework, ¿verdad? Do y, y después their homework. Ah. Oh, do, ok. Their homework. Ah, sí, pero do okay. homework. ¿Y qué tenemos tú? La otra sería la, la 13, I have. Después de kit sería do. Y después share homework, así. Sí. Ah, ok. Sí. I, I have, have dinner. Mm -hmm. I have dinner with my family. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. In the sí. dining room. Sí. El dining room es la sala. Sí. Es la sala, ¿verdad? Entonces, la no, pero sería Diner Diner In the evening We And what she be We Será relax sí, oh, Y sí. ve la televisión de Ah, sí, ah, sería así, relax, ¿verdad? We, We relax, relax and watch TV. Nos relajamos y vemos televisión, algo así. Uh -huh. Relax. Ay, qué caldo. Después. Y between. ¿Qué significa between? O no sé qué. Between, entre. Entre, between. Ah, pues que se va a dormir entre las. En, en, entre las 10 y 10, I go to the bed, creo que sería. I go to the bed. Go to bed. I sí, go porque se va. Go to se the va bed. Go to bed. Ajá, que se va a acostar como a las 10. I go to bed. Ajá. Hello, hello, guys. Did you finish? Terminaron. Okay, did you finish, guys? Diana, Maria Fernanda, Kimberly, Juan Carlos, Fidel, Maria Fernanda. Did you no, finish? teacher, nos quedamos en la nueve nosotros. Nosotros no logramos terminar tampoco. En la nueve, okay. Ah, yeah. nosotros nos quedamos en la en la doce. Vaya, entonces, um, vaya, entonces les voy a dar la respuesta. Vamos a llegar hasta la nueve, vamos a leer. Solo hasta la nueve y leemos. Y ahí el resto lo completan y luego les mando las answers. Ok. Vamos a ver. Um, volunteer. Vamos a quién lee la primera. Ok, ya. Ay, a la, la leo yo. Ajá. Hay alarm. Hay alarm clock. Always wake, make up. At uh, six o'clock, very morning. Every morning. Every morning. Every morning. My alarm clock always wakes me up. Wakes me up at six o'clock every morning. Number two, volunteer. What's that? Number two, volunteer. I wake up. I wake up. Mm -hmm. At six, but but I take a shower at six thirty. Okay, then I go to the bathroom to get washed and 
brush my, my teeth. teeth. Mm, okay, no, healthy teeth, teeth, teeth are important. After that, I dress. I get dressed. Get dressed. Okay. Get dressed. I like to wear a tie. Number five. Then I usually have a big breakfast. A big breakfast. I like to have some coffee, toast, toast. and fruit. 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 Six. I always. I always I take always... a bus. Take a bus to my office. Okay. Seven. At noon, I have a lunch. I have lunch. Mm -hmm. I with my uh, with my co-workers. Co we eat. We are at a restaurant near our company. Okay, eight. 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 In the afternoon, I take a mm -hmm. bus to go back home. I get back home at about five o'clock. Excellent. After I get home. I often a menu. Do exercise, teacher. Exercise. Okay. I like to go jogging. Sometimes I do sit tops. Jogging. What is jogging? Trotar. Trotar. And sit tops. Sit tops. No? <laughs> okay. After that, I take a shower. So that I can feel clean and fresh. Excellent. Fresh, right? Fresh, fresh. Then I often uh, help my wife. Do housework. Okay. Do housework. Okay. Housework. For example, I sweep the floor and throw away the garbage. Throw away. ¿Qué significa throw away? Tirar. Afuera. Tirar la basura. La basura. Okay. Uh, 12. Terminamos ahí. I like to have my kids. Do their, their homework. Okay. Homework. Mm -hmm. Sometimes my son needs help oh, with his yes. math. 13. Volunteer. I have dinner with my family in the dining, in the dinner, dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. What is the dining okay. room? Engineer room. La? Comedor. El comedor. Yeah, el comedor. Okay, in the evening, mm -hmm. we... We relax and watch TV. Okay, 15. I go to the bed. Mm -hmm. I, I go, go to bed, bed between, between 10 and 30. And 10 30. Okay, so here you have the answer key. O sea, ahí, solo para que corroboren, ahí está el answer key. Y les mandé el video también para que lo, lo vean. Y le pueden tomar un screenshot. Okay, bien. Uh, so we have finished with the class. Terminamos la clase, chicos. Um, no va a pasar asistencia, ya la pasamos una vez a las nueve. ¿De qué sale? Uh, la pasaremos. Mon Monday. Sí. Ajá, el saludo, no sé si la vamos a pasar las dos. Ahorita oh. me interesa... Oh, dígame, dígame, Sergio. No, 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 no. Ok, ahorita lo que vamos a ver es eh, las preguntas que tenían ahí de, de la plataforma. Los demás pueden descansar, chicos. Ok, no sé si hay alguna pregunta. Feliz 15 de septiembre, gente. Good night. Uh, well, good night <laughs> y me voy a descansar. Good weekend. Allá los va a ver viendo los cachiporros. Last weekend. <laughs> Vamos a ver lo de la asistencia y lo de la plataforma. Sí, oh, este, sí, sí. solamente déjeme corroborar algunos detalles. Resulta, Tenía... la clase estaría hasta el día lunes, ¿verdad? Sí, hasta el día lunes, retomamos lunes. Good night, good night. A tener un long, okay. long weekend. Y solamente checo algunos quizás. Sergio creo que nunca ha faltado. Oh, todavía no. Ok, ahorita iríamos por 35%. Ok, 35%. A ver. Ok, 
Entonces solo voy a retomar alguno que considere que está muy bajito para ver qué voy a leer. Gerson, tenemos que subir esa asistencia, Gerson. Estamos en 25. Lo que, me, lo que me he fijado, teacher, es que como 25 nos conectábamos al principio, yo solo, no llegamos a 20, creo yo. ¿Cómo? Como en 19 nos quedamos en asistencia. Bueno, de los que se conectan, de los que aparecen en los participantes. Sí, no, lo que pasa es que algunos han faltado. Ajá. Entonces ahí ya, ya baja bastante. Ajá. Un día que se va, que se no, no asiste, le baja, va bajando. Vamos aquí, no sé si Gerson estaba por acá y ya se fue. Elsie también, hay que subir un poquito más, Elsie estamos en 26%, tenemos que estar en 35 ahorita, Diego, Alberto, no sé si se lo conocen, Diego también, está bajito de asistencia, 13. Eh, él creo que, Ajá, dígame. Hola. Y él creo que puso en el grupo ahora de que estaba un poquito ocupado porque trabaja de delivery en Papayón. Ah, ok, bueno. Vamos a tratar de comunicarnos con él. Diana, estamos en 22. Diana, Verónica, no sé si creo que no está tampoco. Ok. Y Ana Coralia. Y el resto andamos por un rango bastante bien: 34, 30. Oh, bueno, no se confía, Fidel, 30%. Gloria Elizabeth, 29. José María 27, Nerari 33, Ay, no, 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 se los menciono pero no se van a confiar, ¿verdad? Que sí, sí puede, va bajando, se va modificando cada día. Ahorita faltaría subirlo de esta clase, mañana va a estar actualizado. Bien, ahora checamos la plataforma. A ver, no sé quién me dijo que tenía problemas con la plataforma. Bye, good night. Bye, bye. ¿Alguien había tenido problemas con el ejercicio 1? Yo hice el, el ejercicio el, de la tarea 6, pero este, me daba error. Y, y le ponía el punto al final, pero siempre me daba error. Ok, vamos a checar entonces. Good night, good night. Good night, guys. Los demás ya se pueden retirar. Mm. Si, si no tienen dudas, pueden, de, pueden descansar. Ok. Sería tarea 6, ¿verdad? Sí. Vamos viendo la tarea 6. ¿Ya se ve en la pantalla? Sí. Yo ya la... se ve. Esta es. Ajá. Y aquí lo que tenemos que hacer es ordenar las oraciones y descifrar. Cómo... Sí. ¿Cómo tiene la primera? Ay, ya no me acuerdo. No, no, no. Ajá, pero le puse el punto al final, pero no me... Siempre me daba error. Ok, vamos probando okay. las dos. La segunda, ¿cómo la tiene? He... 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 Works... ¿Mm? In a factory. In a factory. Ok. Uh -huh. Three. Vamos probando. Number three. Use cinema to go. ¿Y qué tienen ahí para la tres, chicos? You. Uh -huh. Cinema. Uh, no. You. The. You go cinema. Ok. Ajá, you go to. Tú vas. Ajá, you go to. Ajá, you go to. The cinema. Ajá, you go to the cinema. Refer. She. Doesn't. Doesn't. Speak. Portugués. 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 Number five. Mm, we don't 
use the computer. Use computer. 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 Computers. We don't use computers. Um, quizás podría checar esto del apóstrofe si está utilizando este apó, este. Tiene que ser este. El mismo que está aquí. Ese tiene que ser. Lo mm. otro aquí, uh, por ejemplo, ver si es capital letter, checar. Por ejemplo, aquí es mayúscula. Ajá, porque va, yo en esta le pongo también este. Le pongo mayúscula. Uh -huh. Tiene que ir así, vaya, así todas no las o quizás por los apóstrofes, quizás no me la acepta. Verifique nuevamente o tómale una foto y compárelo. Uh -huh. Y compárelo uh -huh. para identificar cuál ha sido el error. Ahí. Okay. ¿Alguien le puede tomar una captura? Ya le tomé. Ah, vaya, perfecto. No sé. Uh -huh. ¿Quién más tenía preguntas? Yolanda, dígame, Yolanda. No sé, Yolanda, si era la misma pregunta. Activa el micrófono. No, teacher, todo. todo bien. Ok, ¿hay otro ejercicio, chicas, que les ha causado problemas? Ya no seguí intentando después de ese. Ok, entonces hay que seguir. Uh -huh. Tenemos que terminar aquí, uh -huh. vamos en el 8 ahorita. 8. Uh -huh. Prácticamente toda esta semana me falta. Ajá. Uh -huh. sí. me... Eh, la 9 y la 10, pues son de las próximas clases, pero eh, igual pueden avanzar, ¿verdad? No hay problema, porque vimos, cubrimos el tema. Pero si no, pues la pueden hacer hasta... hasta... Okay, yo, eh, sí, pueden avanzar, ah, terminen, tienen estos tres días. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Ok, ladies, thanks a lot. See you on Monday. Entonces nos vemos el lunes, chicas. Hace un feliz semana. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot, ladies. Bye-bye.